We are live. Good afternoon. At this time, will sergeants please start their recordings? PC recording has started. Cloud is rolling. Backup is rolling. Thank you. And good afternoon and welcome to today's remote New York City Council vote of the Committee on Housing and Buildings. At this time, would all council members and council staff please turn on their video. To minimize disruption, please place electronic devices on vibrate or silent mode. Thank you, Chair Cornegy. We are ready to begin. Thank you. Good afternoon and thank you for coming. I'm Council Member Robert Cornegy, Chair of the Council's Committee on Housing and Buildings. We're here to vote on two bills that extend looming deadlines for requirements related to gas piping inspections and a carbon monoxide detector installation. A pair of gas explosions in New York City injured nearly 100 people and, and took 10 lives in 2014 and 2015, shattering the peace of mind of many more East Harlem, East Village, and city residents. In the wake of these tragedy, tragic explosions in 2016, the city passed a collection of gas safety legislation aimed at upgrading safety measures by city agencies, utility companies, and building owners. Local laws 152, 159 of 2016 represented an effort to ensure that the tragic events of March 12, 2014 and March 26, 2015 would never be repeated in another city neighborhood. That's the origin of local law 152 of 2016. After passage, the Department of Buildings crafted rules that set out the inspection regime. The rules included DOB occupancy, group R3 from the inspection regime. The rule hold that the first set of inspections in community districts one, three, and 10 should be conducted by December 31st, 2020. The rules also set out a possible $10,000 civil penalty for failure to file the inspection certificate before the application deadline. The pandemic upended that timetable. Guidance from public health authorities, Governor Cuomo and Mayor de Blasio meant having a licensed master plumber conduct the gas pipe inspection simply could not happen for a part of the year and individuals concerned with keeping their household con contacts small meant that even without emergency orders and a state of emergency, conducting the inspections could run counter to that goal and put vulnerable people at risk. The pandemic also meant altogether less public bandwidth for mes messages like upcoming gas pipe inspection deadlines and more focus on the serious crisis occurring around us. Introduction 2151B recognizes that context and proposes changing the current compliance deadline by six months. From the current law's December 31st, 2020 deadline to a proposed June 30th, 2021 deadline. It also requires a more thought going effort by the DOB on outreach and notice to impact the communities. Intro 2151B also directs the Department of Buildings to pursue more targeted outreach, engage community-based organizations and take onboard feedback from the public. Intro 2151B is set for a final vote by the City Council on December 17th. Going forward, city policy has to include consideration of important safety goals local laws 151 through 159 set out. At the same time as recognizing the reality of the pandemic and the challenges buildings encounter in complying with the law, the ultimate goal must be public safety, not collecting penalties and not eroding the equity building owners have built by imposing unreasonable gotcha fines. Colleagues in co-authoring or co-sponsoring this legislation have seen the merit in the approach and include co-author council member Drum and co-sponsors council members Kalos, Jonai, Brannon, Shin, and public advocate Williams, several of whom were also co-sponsors of local law 152. The pandemic has required us to be flexible and look again at the context of multiple deadlines set out in law. Intro 2151B is in the spirit of taking a reasonable look and reassessing how we can pursue safety while recognizing the reality that the pandemic has imposed on all of us. Proposed intro number 2171A, which I sponsored, would extend the deadline by which carbon monoxide detectors are required to be installed under local law 191 from January 2021 to July 2021. I'm joined uh, today by council members in no particular order Lewis, Rivera, Jonai, Rosenthal, Perkins, and Cabrera. We'll now hear remarks from our finance chair and sponsor of the bill, Council Member Danny Drum. Thank you very much, Chair Cornegie. Intro 2151B will give much needed reprieve 
to the tens of thousands of buildings in community districts one, three, and 10 that like all of us are still reeling from this pandemic. Without this bill, they will be left scrambling to comply with local law 152 of 2016 with its looming December 31st, 2020 deadline. The goals of local law 152 are laudable to ensure that gas lines and buildings throughout the city are sound. However, the initial deadline set well before anyone could foresee this pandemic, it is not practical at this point. As responsible policymakers, we are simply interested in ensuring compliance with any legislation that is passed and enacted. When circumstances change and call for reassessment, we have to respond. And that is what we are doing here. Intro 2151B does not only extend the gas line inspection and certification deadline to June 30th. Fortunately, Chair Cornegie insisted on including text that required the Department of Buildings to conduct thorough outreach to the public. I hope that these provisions, sorry, I just, I don't know. Um, hold on one minute, one moment. I'm sorry, I've lost uh, power in my, in my phone, so I'm going to have to stop here. But I thank you, Chair Cornegie, for moving this uh, legislation forward. And I'm sure that, uh, folks will appreciate the fact that we are moving this deadline. So thank you again uh, for your attention to this bill and for your support. Uh, thank you, Council Member Drum, for your thoughtful consideration. As the Chair of Finance, people need to know that you still have a heart and don't drive everything through the, the lens and scope of finance. Thank you, Council Member Drum. Thank you. Oh, uh, I'll ask now the uh, committee clerk to call the roll. Good afternoon, William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on housing and buildings, introductions 2151B and introduction 2171A. Both items are coupled. Chair Cornegie. I proudly vote aye on all. Cabrera. Aye. Rosenthal. I vote aye. Gordenchik. Aye. Perkins. Aye on all. Jonai. Aye. Rivera. Aye. Lewis. I vote aye. By vote of eight in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, both items have been adopted by the committee. Thank you. Uh, before we close this hearing, I would like to make a public statement that uh, uh, Council Member Barry Grzenczyk, on, on behalf of the, the great members of Queens that he represents, he was here from the beginning, just for the record. <laughs> I just didn't see him. Sorry, Queens. We are often overlooked, Mr. Chairman, especially <laughs> out here in Eastern Queens, but... I can assure I you that we are, we are always paying attention. I don't know why I opened the door for that, but um, thank you so much for attending the hearing. It, it is now commenced. Thank you, Mr. Chair. <laughs>